Alrighty guys, what's up and welcome back to another weekly outdoors video. So, we haven't done a review video in a while. About two months ago I did a review video on the Ride Concepts coaster slippers and that video was great. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check it right up here. Um, great video. But, we haven't done a bike video in a while also. A bike review video to be more specific. Uh, so today we're going to review a bike that is great for jumping, great for tech trails, and great for just road riding. It's great for everything you throw at it, so let's take a look at the Rocky Mountain Instinct 29. Alrighty guys, so here it is, the Rocky Mountain Instinct 29, the full suspension monster bike. This bike is sick. Like I said, it's for jumping, it's for tech, it's for everything. It's good for everything you throw at it. So let's start from the fork. We have a RockShox Domain fork right here, adjustable compression and air, and also damping. Really nice fork and really smooth fork. Uh, going down to the brake, uh, brake rotors. These are huge brake rotors, e-bike tested brake rotors, and these are, I think, I think it's 200 millimeters, but they're bigger than my hand, actually. Uh, I-9 hubs, these I-9 hubs sound so, so good. I'll give you guys a sound clip right now. And they sound really, really nice. We have Max's Icon tires, really grippy tires. We also have a RockShox fender specifically made for the RockShox domain fork or any RockShox fork. Uh, moving up to the handlebars and cockpit, we have ergon grips, um, uh, shifter, brakes, stem, uh, FSA uh, top cap, and pretty much the same thing on the other side. Uh, moving down, we have a RockShox Deluxe Plus uh, rear shock really really smooth and really really nice shock there's a rock shock deluxe but this is the deluxe plus basically this bike has um this bike was bought for three thousand dollars but with the i9 hubs the new shifter the new pedals that are two hundred dollars the uh deluxe plus uh shock the domain fork uh, this bike is probably worth around maybe five, maybe even six thousand uh, dollars. So moving on down, we have a SRAM shifter right here, or derailleur. Um, Two hundred dollar pedals. These are probably the best uh, pedals you can get right now for mountain biking. The best pedals. Trust me. You, whenever you step on this pedal, you can't get off of it. It's basically like you're clipped in, but you're not clipped in. Really grippy pedals, and I kind of like that. Um, WTB saddle and uh, RockShox dropper post. Here's the dropper lever, and I'll show you guys the dropper go up right now. So I think it's a 200 millimeter dropper. Not sure. Don't get me. Uh, don't get me wrong on that. But yeah, this bike is really, really sick, guys. Um, if you guys agree by just all the parts it has then let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you guys subscribe like and comment down below what you guys think peace out